Well, the title of the video is Motor Mouth Goes Electric. But we had a common problem and now a solution. Let's get in, we'll tell you all about it. So we are sitting in a Kia EV9. We did not buy one, but Kia does factor into our story, which is why we're in the EV9. So Motor Mouth did become electrified. Our house became electrified to support a vehicle like this EV9. So we live in an older house. And a lot of people like us were under the assumption in order to get a level two charger to charge a brand new EV like this, you would need to upgrade your whole electrical service in order to accommodate a level two charger. But we found something out, that's not the case. And also keep in mind when you do do that upgrade, it can be costly, especially for us living in an older house. Believe it or not, over 50% of homes in North America are not capable of putting in a level two charger unless they do that upgrade. But there is a workaround, which is why we're here. We did a video sitting in one of our questions, coffee and cars, very similar to this. And we brought up the fact that we have an old house, we'd have to upgrade our panel, we'd have to trench a line to our garage in the back. And somebody reached out to Andrea. Well, luckily for us, some people from Variable Grid watch our videos and they were doing research on an electric vehicle, watching the videos, seeing which one works for them. And they heard about our issue. And you guys know, we were actually using our neighbor's charger and paying him so that we could charge our press vehicles at our house. So Variable Grid got in contact and said, we have a solution, not just for us, but for that 50% of people who have an older panel and thought they maybe couldn't upgrade. Well, there is a solution. After our install, the CEO of Variable Grid, Dan Lafferty, came by and he explained why this system is so good. So you can imagine we, we monitor instantaneously how much power you're using at your house and any available power that you're not using at that time is dedicated to your EV chargers. So we can turn basically as much power to these two EV chargers based on how much power you're using at your house. People love it because it can avoid very expensive electrical upgrades. I can actually, you know, we, when we installed these, we had a, a, someone take a quick look and give us a, what it would cost to be, you know, upwards of $15,000 to, to do all of the electrical work, the permitting for BC Hydro, um, which is your local utility here, and all of the landscaping you would need because you have an, what's called an underground service so that they trench up and, and bury the line. $15,000 is just, you know, that doesn't make the economics of the car feasible at all. So our technology allows anyone, so it's accessible and affordable for anyone, no matter where they live, their home or a condo as well. So in our situation, 100 year old house, detached garage. So they had to trench a line to get the power to the garage. But maybe you lived in a subdivision built in the 70s or 80s. You have an older panel, but a more modern style driveway. It would be much simpler and easier to install. And when they were installing it, Andrea, the variable grid box that they put in is so small. Yeah, the energy management system, I thought that was just incredible. I couldn't believe it. So this controls everything? Yes. Wow. So with the panel, you're adding the cable, right, mm -hmm. to go to the car, but that's really the brain of it all. Yes. So you don't have to add it in there. We don't add it in there. We're just adding some power, uh, some plugs so that we can uh, power this up. Wow. That's, but this that's, communicates wirelessly to the chargers. That's, that's really chargers. simple. Our secret sauce, our algorithms, and we actually have an AI power machine learning in the background that's going to tune how much power this is drawing based on instantaneous consumption uh, at your house. So we can have actually a variant home, we can have four EV chargers in a row, um, and we're just going to tune and manage each EV charger based on how much power is being used. So it's that adaptive power management, and our full name is actually Variable Grid Adaptive Power. That adaptive power management is uh, our secret sauce and our uh, IP. A lot of technology into, a lot of processing power, to say, into that little box. But yeah, we monitor how much power you're using and then talk digitally. And as you know, communication is really important. And so we actually have uh, wire running from your chargers all the way over to uh, that, that one little box. And that one little box is then speaking directly to it. So it's, what's great about our system is they actually don't need internet connection. To, the same type of experience. We're not going to cut off your EV charging if your internet's not there, which is a, a big problem in, in the industry where you're, there's not a reliable internet connection. And we've solved that by just hardwiring um, the EV chargers to that device. So we, even when there's no internet or your internet cuts in and out, you still have a great charging experience. 
So there are two major benefits to this system. First off, you can put a level two charger in without upgrading your panel, but also the savings associated with it. That was our main concern in spending all of that money to upgrade our panel. So there is a reason why we're sitting in a Kia. Kia Canada and Variable Grid have partnered to basically allow you to buy this bundle for your vehicle and roll it into the cost of your purchase of a vehicle like an EV9 or an EV6 or whatever. So I'm David Gerard, the Director of Strategic Planning here at Kia Canada, and I'm very pleased to be able to speak about the partnership that we're taking on with Variable Grid. Variable Grid and the energy management solution product that they're offering is really going to help customers when it comes to electric vehicle adoption. For consumers, the cost that sometimes comes with an EV of upgrading an electrical panel can be a big expense. With this solution, the customer can use their existing electrical panel, put the home charger in, and not have to worry about those kind of costs, certainly helping us with customers help them make that transition. We also have the benefit of allowing our customers to build the cost of this into their monthly payment, so the cost of the hardware that is, further lowering that entry barrier to electric vehicle transition. So you're probably wondering about the pricing because this sounds pretty good. Variable Grid tells us that the bundle, which includes the charger and then the control box is $1,749 MSRP. Now that might be different at a Kia dealership. It could be less. Just depends on what sort of deals Kia is willing to throw in on this. And, and the great news is you might have heard that you can take this package and add it in to the financing of your Kia EV. So you're paying for it over the 48 or 70 months or however long your term is. Mm -hmm. So that's really gonna provide a lot of solutions. So for us, in our specific case, and this is the case, as we mentioned, for 50% of the homes in North America, not the right service, so you'd have to upgrade that. A lot of money to do that. And then, um, you know, it's just too cost prohibitive. Yeah. So now you can get the service from your regular panel to a level two charger and it does it all and manages it seamlessly. It, it's basically a solution I never even knew existed. Oh, for sure. I'm really glad that someone from Variable Grid watches us. Uh, I want to add to that we actually got two chargers put in and this system could have four chargers at your home if that's what you chose to do. So we have the standard charger, which is the J1772, but we also got the North American charging standard as well because many manufacturers are upgrading their vehicles now to the NACS. Okay, so Variable Grid is a nice little spiff because yeah. we're basically launching this partnership with this video with Kia and Variable Grid. They've decided to give a spiff, right? Yeah, and if you're interested in this, go to variablegrid.com. On the home page, you have to fill out a form and you'll see in the comment box, put motor mouth in and they're going to give you 20% off. That's a good deal. It's a good deal. So we thought old house, upgrade the panel, too much, too much, too much. Zach saying to Andrea, it's not worth it. No. And now it can be done. Yeah. Great solution. And some of you who live in a condo who want to get into an EV, guess what? Variable Grid has a separate solution for multi-unit complexes. All right, so what do you think of that? You probably didn't know this existed. We didn't know it existed. Now we have chargers. I don't have to go and ask the neighbor to plug in anymore, Andrea. I'm the neighbor's so... going to say, where's my money? <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.